guys, welcome to yet another lesson here on THSS Technology. Uh, today's lesson, we're having a look at lovely Butte Park. Now, Butte Park is the largest park in Cardiff, which is the largest city in Wales, uh, sitting on the former grounds where Lord Butte himself once resided. Anyways, today's skill we're going to look at is how to remove objects from photos um, using a, a couple different tools. Um, so let's get started. So we got this lovely uh, Butte Park here, but if you if you zoom in a little closer here, we'll notice there's a little bit of litter on the ground. What a shame! Uh, so here you are taking this lovely photo, uh, only for it to be mired by trash. So let's clean it up, shall we? Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make a simple selection of the area we wish to uh, remove or clean up. And this can be done using a variety of tools. You're welcome to use just the uh, the marquee tool, uh, you know, the elliptical marquee tool, depending on the uh, on the type of selection you wish to make. Or if you want to be a bit more precise, uh, you can use the polygonal lasso tool. And it does need to be exact. You don't need to trace the garbage perfectly. Uh, you just want a rough selection of your object. Uh, once you've made your selection, you're going to head over to Edit up here at the top, and you're going to go to Fill. You're going to notice the hotkey there is Shift F5. Uh, so once we click on Fill, uh, it's going to give us an option to fill our selection. And by default, it's actually going to go to Content Aware. This is where Photoshop is going to look at the uh, surrounding patterns from your selection and do its best to kind of fill in that area. Uh, there's many other different fill options. You're welcome to play under those. But today, we're going to be working with Content Aware. So we're going to click OK. And voila, uh, the garbage has been cleaned up. Uh, but let's take that a little bit further. Let's uh, let's move around the photo here and uh, there. The, look at these little errant shoes over here. Let's see if we can. Uh, well, this person's not looking. Just uh, swipe their shoes here. So once again, made a selection of the shoes using the polygon lasso tool, and you can either go to Edit, Fill, or if you like, you can just hit Shift F5. It's going to bring up the Fill menu. Content Aware is selected, and we're going to click OK. And then once again, the shoes have been removed. Well, that works uh, well and good for small pieces of removing. But what if, say, we wanted to get rid of some people? These people, in exact, they offend me. So let's once again make a rough selection of the area we want to remove. Once again, it doesn't need to be precise. Just make sure you get the entirety of your objects in it. We're going to hit Shift F5, and we're going to go OK. It's going to take a little bit longer this time because this has to clear up some more data. And one thing we're going to notice when we deselect with Control D is it doesn't look as good as the garbage or the shoe removal did. We got this kind of like fuzzy line around our subject. And when we zoom out, it's actually quite noticeable. Uh, the other areas are fine. You'd never know any different. But something just looks odd here. Um, and that's just owes a little bit to the, uh, the the complexity of removing such a large object. And we'd see this pattern if we tried to remove other larger areas. So once again, let's just repeat the process here. Let's just make a quick selection of our subjects. Shift F5, OK. Photoshop will do its thing. And once again, you're going to see that little bit that just looks off. Um, almost looks like the grass is uh, damp or something along those lines. So. Uh, content aware, uh, well, it's uh, working quite well. It's come a long ways. It's still not perfect if we're wanting to do very, uh, very exact removals of objects from photos. So it is situational. So let's go through another way to kind of uh, remove objects from photos. So I'm going to go over here to my new tab, uh, go back to the original photo here, and uh, let's learn a different way to remove our subjects. So once again, here is the picture using content aware. And now let's kind of go in and see if we can find a better way to remove our objects. Let's start again with this little piece of trash here. Uh, so the tool I'm actually going to use is called the Clone Stamp Tool. And it kind of does what the name suggests. It clones from one area of the photo and stamps it down on the next. Um, make sure you use the Clone Stamp Tool and not the Pattern Stamp Tool. So that's the Clone Stamp Tool. Now the Clone Stamp Tool works just like any other brush. It has a brush size and it has a hardness value. Uh, so the brush size, you'll just change as needed. So in this case, this litter, I want the brush to be larger than my object. Um, and the hardness is a, a value you're going to kind of have to play around with, uh, adjust it to whatever you feel is working best for the particular photo. Um, let's start out with it around 50% uh, or so, and let's see how that looks. So the Clone Stamp tool is a two-step process. If I actually just try and 
click here, it's going to give me an error uh, because I haven't set an area to be cloned yet. And it gives you a little hint here that you have to alt to define your clone points. So how this is going to work is I'm going to hold down the alt key, alt key just to the left of the space bar. And you can see my little brush when I hold down the alt key here, it turns to a little uh, like a little crosshair. That is your sample point. So what you want to do is you want to pick uh, an area to uh, to replace this area that looks very similar. So you wouldn't want to take anything that's too dark or too light. You want to pick grass that is similar to that. So this grass looks pretty good right here. So I'm going to left click once. I'm still holding alt. So I'm going to click once. I'm going to remove the alt button, and now I'm going to move my mouse over top of the area, and you can kind of see what's happening here. So I'm going to click once, and it's going to replace that trash pretty perfect. In fact, you cannot tell that it was there. So let's do the same with the shoes. So I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger here using the uh, square brackets to make uh, brushes bigger or smaller. Um, and about the size of the shoes, good. I'm going to hold down Alt, and I'm going to sample a new area that is similar to the color of the shoes. So we're going to Alt click here, move the brush over top, try to line up the colors, that looks pretty good, and not too shabby. Okay, so so far we're looking about the same from the garbage removal and the shoe removal of the uh, uh, content aware edit fill, but let's try some people now. Let's see if we can make a look a little bit better than our previous jobs. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger now, and I'm going to hit Alt. I'm going to sample an area a little bit away from my target. And let's start covering up our people. Now I'm doing this rather slowly, trying to make sure everything is lining up nicely. And it is coming across pretty good. So you want to try to match up colors the best you can from your sample areas and where you're stamping. That looks pretty good. So let's do a comparison there, our previous. So this is our new one, use the clone stamp tool, and here's our previous there. And you can very clearly see the difference. So this is using the clone stamp tool, and this is using content aware. Obviously it takes a little bit longer using the clone stamp tool, but the results are noticeable. So let's say it's all well and good when uh, uh, we're removing from a very similar background color, such as grass, but what if we're moving, uh, here let's go this poor lass over here, sitting all by herself. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, I hate to say get rid of her, but let's remove her from the photo just to uh, just to prove a point here. So, uh, with the background of this photo, if you notice, we have multiple different colors, right? So we have the, the lightly colored grass area here, and then we got the shady here under the trees. So this is going to require a few extra steps. So I'm going to start to make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm going to Alt, hold down Alt again, and I'm going to sample right on this transition line here. So I'm going to left click once, remove Alt. And let's try to line this up. Obviously, you don't want to put it up there. Let's try to line it up the best we can here. Oh, that looks pretty good. And then let's resample. So I'm sampling again from up here. I'm going to resample again. That looks pretty good. I'm going to make my brush a bit smaller. And let's resample one more time. There we go. Not too bad. Okay, so that's how we can use the clone stamp tool to remove objects, but you can also use it to duplicate objects. So, uh, let's go back to uh, an unaltered version of the photo, this third tab here, and um, instead of uh, stealing our shoes, let's actually give her some more shoes. So instead of sampling a grass area, I'm actually going to sample right on top of her shoes here. So I'm going to left click under shoes while holding down alt, remove alt, and let's just plunk down a second set of her shoes there. All right, won't be she be confused. And let's go back over to these two here, just enjoying themselves in the nice sun over here in Butte Park. Um, and let's uh, let's add a clone. So I'm going to sample up here. So I'm going to hold down Alt. I'm going to left click. I'm going to remove Alt. And let's just put them over here. We'll actually, we'll cover up this trash. And let's place them down there. There's a glitch in the matrix. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that lesson, and uh, we will see you guys later. Thanks.